Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time, I am going to teach you on how are you going to use one of the Google apps and that is the Google Docs in consolidating the weekly home learning plan or the WHLP. After watching this, kindly subscribe and then like and comment. Here is the procedure. First, sign in to your Google account. Next, click the line that's or the app store. Here you can see all the Google apps, but choose Google Docs. Next, click plan. Okay, here you can see now the document under the Google Docs. You can create here a template of the WHLP. But if somebody forwarded you an editable template of the WHLP, the better. So example, okay, I will open my Gmail, okay, and click the file, okay, then open with, with Google Docs. Now you have the copy of the template. Then make your own copy, especially if that is a shared document. How? Okay, you are going to click file. Okay, click make a copy. Okay, then write your file name. So, assuming that I am an advisor of Ben Malgar, so I am going to type Ben Malgar WHLP. Okay, then click OK. Now you have the copy of the document. You can now edit the template. So, fill out first. The class card, okay, the name of the class, the week and quarter number, and the week date. Okay, you can edit the day and time, the learning area based on the class program. So, so assuming this is my class program. So for Monday and Tuesday, the learning area are math, AP, Filipino, science. Okay, so this is also the time for them. Okay. So let us check. Math, AP, Filipino, Science. Next, since I am the math teacher of this section, I will be the first one to accomplish the WHLP for the learning competency, learning task, and mode of delivery. So I will copy the learning competency, learning task, and mode of delivery from my WHLP. WHLP, so the most essential learning competences here, okay, the learning task and the mode of delivery. So I'm going to copy it and paste this on the document. So here is now the learning competency. I have copied the learning task and the mode of delivery. Okay, so if you are done with your editing, you can now share it with all your subject area teachers. So, meaning kahit ano tulog ka, yung mga subject area teachers, mag-work na para sa'yo. Silip-silip ka na lang if anong subject ang di pa nag apply So, pwede rin mag-monitor ang uh, ating head or principal if sino pa ang di nakakagawa dito. Okay? So, try po natin. So, you are going to click share. Okay? Then, click get link naman yung common na ginagamit natin. Okay. Next, click anyone with a link. Next, click editor. Okay. To edit the document. Kasi kung view lang, hindi po ma-edit yun. Mag-view mo lang. Okay. So, click copy link. And then, click that. Okay. So, you are now ready to share the link with your subject area teacher. So, example, I am sending the link to my co-teacher. So, here is now the link I have forwarded. Okay. So, then, I uh, assuming that I am the subject area teacher, and I'm going to open the link that I have uh, received. So, the wrong link na yun. Click ko lang po yun. Okay. Okay. Then, open with Google Docs. So, here is the file that has been sent to me. Okay. Assuming that... Uh, I am the AP teacher, so here I am going to copy and paste again my WHLP, okay, for the learning competency, learning task, and mode of delivery. So, yun lang po. Okay po? 
So, if you're an advisor, so if you want to check who among your subject area teachers already uh, prepared PWHLT, so go back to your account, sign into your account, and then click the nine dots, okay? Click again the Google Docs apps, okay? Then you click the file name, okay? So, you can open this, okay? View or only mode or edit in Google Docs. So, so pwede natin view only kasi hindi naman tayo nang edit Pero if you want to edit the document, so yung edit in Google Docs, ha? Click. So, yan po. Nakikita na po dun yung na-prepare po ng EAP teacher. So, yun lang 